crowd. <laughs> Who's here for their very first conference? Put your hands up. You know what? That was me 12 months ago in Vancouver. And I'm a member watching the Diamonds on stage, listening to their stories. And I thought, you know what? I want to be up on that stage. Can you relate? Who's feeling like that? Yeah? You know, listening to everybody's stories made me realize that they were all really amazing people. But you know what? They were just everyday, ordinary people, just like you and me. And I just knew that that meant that I could do it too. And that was so empowering. So I remember flying home and um, I got on the plane and I have to say, I actually didn't get to sleep a whole lot during a conference. So I fell asleep as soon as I hit the seat. And I remember waking up after a little while and my heart was racing, I was sweating, I was shaking, and I actually was dreaming that I was giving my diamond speech on stage. <laughs> it felt so real, like every little bit of emotion that I'm feeling right now, I was feeling in that seat in the plane. Um, the only difference was my speech was in front of about 200 people and here there's now over a thousand, so... But, I just knew from that feeling that it was just a matter of time. Um, it was just going to happen. I just knew it. So I got home and I spoke to my husband, Michael, and I said to him, I said, you know what? This is our ticket to a better life. This is our ticket out. Um, Michael and I enjoyed our jobs. We loved our jobs. Um, but somehow we still felt really trapped and incomplete. You know, we were kind of working, um, living week to week, trying to make ends meet. I don't know if any of you can relate, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, yeah? <laughs> There's a few of you. I've got an opportunity for you, by the way. Um, <laughs> but my background is a freelance hair and makeup artist, and my husband is a shift worker. So we, first of all, didn't get a lot of time together because we were passing ships in the night, but we also didn't have a lot of time for family and friends. And I remember Shannon Malnick, I know you're sitting right there, Shannon, one of the very first times I met you, she said, Lillian, I know you love being a makeup artist, but if you could be anywhere in the world with anyone doing anything you want to do, would you still go to work and do your job? Now, the enormity of this didn't actually hit me at that time until last Christmas, and I'll tell you a story of what happened. I'd actually started to replace some of my income and my husband and I decided that we were going to take Christmas off. Now that was a big deal because the industry that we were in, we worked every Christmas. So this was one of the first Christmases in about 10 years we were going to be off. So we're really looking forward to spending time with family and friends. And it was getting closer to Christmas and I hadn't heard anything was happening. So I remember ringing my mum and I said, mum, what's happening? And I realised at that time they'd actually forgotten to invite us. But, you know, it wasn't because we weren't welcome. What actually hit me is that we'd actually conditioned them to just assume that we would always be at work because we would never attend any events. And that's when your quote hit me, Shannon, and it hit me in the core. Because at that moment, I knew that I wanted to be with family, I wanted to be people that I loved and that I cared about, not wanting to be in a makeup room by myself at work. And that's when it changed. So I finally closed the back door on my J-O-B earlier this year. Um, it was really scary but liberating at the same time because a career that had served me so well now became my second title. And, um, but it was that time that I really started to take this opportunity seriously and that's when things started to change. I actually stopped caring what people thought. You know, let's face it, we all have skeptics around us, right? Yeah, those people that are waiting for you to fail and then tell you, told you so, or waiting for those people to give you their advice, you know what I'm talking about? We all have got them, right? Now, I wasn't gonna let them because I'd made it public that I'd closed the back door. I had to make sure that this was gonna work. This was gonna be it. Now, 
I have to be really honest, I actually started as skeptic, um, and for those of you that know my story know it very well, but I got a call from Abigail Johnston. Um, Abigail's a very dear friend of mine and work colleague for almost 20 years, and she rang me up one day and she said, Lil, um, I've come across this mask, it's amazing, I really think you need to have a look at it. And she said, Lil, you've got to use it every single day. It's sold through network marketing. It's ground floor. It's new to Australia, and I don't want you to miss out. My mind switched off when she started telling me that I needed to use it every night. Now, me being the person and so busy that I am, I never even had time to paint my nails until now, OK? <laughs> so for me to do a mask and use it every day, it was just not going to happen. And then network marketing, I thought, you've got to be kidding me. So it was probably about eight or nine months later um, when Abigail and Jackie, another makeup artist that's here today as well, and myself, um, we actually work every year on a uh, international celebrity TV show. And um, what actually happened, the host walked in and she in instantly noticed Abigail's skin and how it improved from the year before. So needless to say, she needed to try it. About three days later, we had a knock on the door from the technical department, and they were basically saying, like, her skin was glowing, they'd never seen it look any better, and I was like, hmm, that must be that product. <laughs> About a week later, though, the host actually walked in with her credit card. She said, girls, can you order me a year's supply and have it to me in the next week before I fly home? Now, you need to understand, talent get everything for nothing. She gives me her credit card to order a year's supply of this special mask. And I was, I'm missing out. So I said, Abby, we need to have a talk after work. <laughs> so after hearing what she'd actually achieved, it was actually my husband that said, why aren't you doing this? So... <laughs> Good question. But I still remember him leaning back in his chair and he said, honey, she's going to do it with or without you. Now, it's up to you and I'll support you whichever way you're going to go. But I just want to let you know now, if she's going to take this all away, which I know she will, don't come to me and cry if you didn't give it a go. Lucky for me, I did say yes, because 12 months, almost to today, Abby, her fiance Matt, my husband, and I stepped off a plane from Thailand on an all expenses paid uh, trip from New Serity. And it was actually when I walked off the plane, I actually stopped and it hit me. And I thought, wow, how different my life would have been if I had said no. So I have to be really honest, it's not always been easy. You know, I got many no's, experienced the lows and the highs, and went through times of self-doubt. But what I did, I actually surrounded myself with lots of people that actually believed more in myself than I did at the time. And looking back now, it's probably the best thing I could have done. Because at those times when I was low and I basically didn't have the belief, you know, I'm sure we all go through that, um, they were there to support me. Quitting was never an option, but what I'd seen so often is that people don't quit. They just stop doing the doing, and I didn't want to be one of those. So every time I had this block, um, I actually found that it was some sort of personal development I had to work through in order for my business to move forward. So rather than bl you know, playing the blame game and taking the easy option, I actually chose to push through them, and that's why my business continued to grow. Now, hitting diamond had actually shown me that this opportunity is literally for anyone that wants more out of life. Anyone that's done being done. If we can do it, so can all of you. So thank you, Abigail. Thank you for introducing Michael and myself to this opportunity because thanks to you, Michael and I actually started dreaming again, and I'm excited about what's ahead for the future, so thank you. The products, they work. You just got to use them, right? Easy. David, Lonnie, and Richard, you know, without you three amigos, 
none of this will be possible. So thank you for showing us how to create beautiful lives, not only for ourselves, but also to teach us how to pay it forward. I personally believe that this opportunity will offer all of us more than we could ever dream of, hope of, or more than we could ever need. And for Michael and myself, this opportunity is actually something for us to be able to leave a legacy and also to be able to pay it forward, people around us, no matter how big or small. So thank you. Thank you for teaching us um, a different way. Melissa, your support for us Australians is absolutely amazing. You are on call all the time. We don't have a head office in Australia, and Melissa is there for us without an absolute inch of a doubt. So thank you. Eva, Eva, you, you, your belief in all of us Aussies is absolutely unshakable. And I want to thank you for believing in me when I didn't believe I could do it. So thank you. Thank you to my whole team, the Dream Team. To each and every one of you for helping me pull the rope in the same direction. This is not an easy feat. It is not done alone. And I cannot wait to help you all pull the rope to have you walking the stage here as Diamonds as well. So thank you. Now, I have been asked to keep um, a limited time, and there is literally so many people I want to thank, and I could literally stand here for another half an hour. But I cannot leave without thanking the most pivotal person in this journey for me to stand here today. And this is my husband, Michael, who unfortunately couldn't be here this weekend. But babe, you are the one that encouraged me to go for it. You are the one, you're my rock when I need it. You're the one that helps me up when I'm down, and you're the one that's at home holding everything together when I'm traveling, building this business for us to have a better life. So I want to leave you with this. If you knew you could not fail, if you knew you could not fail, would you give it a go? Would you try harder? Or would you give it your all? Me standing here today shows that anyone can do it. I'm no different to any of you out there. You are all worth it. You just have to believe it. So it's your life. Go and make it beautiful.